hello guys out there so I'll be creating a video tutorial series uh, how to create how to set up the sublime text for Salesforce development and use Maven Smith's uh, Salesforce ID with sublime text for that uh, first of all we need to visit the sublime text 3 official site so we'll open this up So currently I'm using window 7 so I'll be uh, downloading this window 64 bit so as soon as this download is completed I'll run this exe file it will not take much time I'll accept the default and click on next and install so once so once the installation is completed I'll open sublime text and the next step is we need to install package controller so package controller is nothing but it is a tool on sublime text to install uh, add one, another plugin on the on the sublime so to install package control first we'll visit this package controller site and over here you'll find two script sublime text 3 script and sublime text 2 script so we'll be using sublime text 3 script because we have already installed a sublime text 3 so this is nothing but a python script that we need to run on sublime text to install package controller on sublime text so i'll I just copied this script and I'll go back to sublime text and over here you will find view tab and below view tab you will have some show console and so in, in the sublime text console you just need to paste that command which we copied from package controller site so that Python command we have just paste in the in this console and it will execute behind in the background and will install the package control. So once this is done, when you click on preference tab, you will see package controller section. So using this package control, we'll be able to install multiple plugins. On sublime text so to open we'll open this package controller and first of all we'll install package so I'll click on this it will install it will open up one more window and in this window I'll just write down Maven Smith so here we will we can install some other packages that will be useful like visual force some angular JS so that uh, auto typing will be enabled so here you will be able to see visual force visual force preview so I, I, I just Let me go back and install package. I'll install Maven's Meet.
so as you can see there was some issue with uh, installing package control so I uh, tried once again and now I was I'm able to install uh, I'm able to associate this Maven's Mate plugin so here we'll see uh, one more tab Maven's Mate so once I uh, once I install this Maven's Mate package uh, package on Sublime Text I need to go ahead and install the desktop application of management which you can download from here so I'll go over here and here you can find there are multiple uh, release bees on release bees there are multiple beta versions I'll not install any beta version I'll go for some stable version so version 10 is a stable one so I'll go ahead and install this Maven's Mate to Windows 64 so is it is taking some time to download as you know as you can see this is bit AV file 646 bit so meanwhile uh, so as, as long as this file is getting downloaded meanwhile we can create one repository where we'll be storing our Salesforce source code that will be called as workspace so I'll name it as sublime workspace so sublime workspace that will be used later uh, that we'll use later on when we set up so once I'm able to download uh, this file completely I'll uh, store this file somewhere and will extract this file so I already extracted, extracted this file in some training folder I'll execute this exe file and will accept the default so it will install Mavensmit app desktop app for me so as long as it will take some time so the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up a workspace on this Mavensmit tool so I'll uh, set it up once the, once the installation is gets completed. So as you can see this is completed so system will open up Maven's Mate application for me so here I can click on setting and set up workspace so as I have already created one folder so I'll go back to that folder uh, in e directory i in i have created this sublime workspace so i'll copy this copy this and and put it here so as it looks the naming convention the format is something so uses to put forward slash and 
now go back to menu and click on new project so here you can choose your name space as this one minute Look, this forward slash not backwards yeah backwards slash so new project choose this one project new and give it a demo project here I need to provide my provide uh, my credential my salesforce you are and it's this one so I put it over here so I need to provide password along with the security token so now just click on advanced it will try to authenticate So here you can specify which metadata you want to retrieve. So these are the metadata. So there are 64 types of metadata you can retrieve using Sublime. So one thing that is very important here to note down is you can you have option to either retrieve metadata, uh, manage package metadata, or you can avoid. So you over somewhere here you'll find there is some setting uh, so so if you check this if you uh, mark this checkbox true that, that means uh, it will not retrieve any metadata which which was part of many package so we'll uh, by default mark it disabled so let me go back to that project and for this demo purpose I'll only retrieve apex classes and create click on create package project so this is complicated uh, I'll try to open this in sublime okay you can see this is the project which we have created and these are the metadata okay so in the next video tutorial I'll uh, walk you through how we can set up version controlling so I'll be using wet bucket along with the sublime text so that we can store this data on the bit bucket and uh, you know bit bucket is used for versioning as well as uh, taking backup uh, your version okay, thank you